All right, so there are some additions to the garden that I did this year. Um, one is I have a couple of beds that I got from Alkibulan Village, which was a collaboration between Detroit Black Community Food Security Network, also known as DBC FSN, and Alkibulan Village, where the youth at Alkibulan learned how to build these beds. And these beds are, I believe they're the uh, three by three. And then they also made these, um, the two by two. So I also added some crops. Um, this bed here, well, you'll see there's marigolds and some mustard greens. And these mustard greens here came from that bed over there. At, um, I grew those from seed over there and then I transplanted them to here. Um, this bed here is all arugula. If you can believe it, I had all of this arugula inside that little bed right there. Um, and this is uh, like a mixed lettuce bed. If you can see, like there's different types of lettuce and mixed lettuce all in that small bed. Um, cabbage, there's green cabbage and red cabbage. I'm really proud of the cabbage. It grew back because I think either some rabbits or gophers came and chomped on it. You can see the uh, marigolds, the carrots are starting to come up. Um, beets are looking really good. That's the mustard greens. You can see um, some celery <clears throat> that's starting. I don't know if you can tell in there, in between our leeks. And then these are radishes here. The radishes are coming up. Um, I think you can kind of see, can you kind of see the radish down in there? Yeah. And then these are onions, you know, that kind of like frayed looking thing is an onion. That's my crystal there on the corner. Um, and another addition is these pots. I added some clay pots. Um, we've got here a cherry tomato here that I started with the tomato steak. Um, these are uh, like a slicing tomato. They're not doing that well, but we're going to keep loving on them. They'll keep loving on you. Um, this is a bell pepper and that is cayenne. And as you can see, I have everything staked, um, you know, for if it starts to grow, you know, and then, um, over here, I have some overgrown spinach and some Swiss chard that's struggling, but we're going to keep loving on you. Some more mustard greens. Um, another addition is these snap peas. So I added these snap peas. As you can see, they're starting to get a little flower. And I also added this like trellis. Can you see the trellising? Yeah. Oh, that's my, that's the trellising. Oh, that's me holding my sage, if you will. <laughs> Um, and that's the trellising, um, and I have a couple of those. And then um, over here in a pot, I've got um, some eggplant and some more onion and some more. That's like a beefsteak tomato. Over here, I um, oh, as you can see, I started using buckets because I needed some. I have plants and I wanted to put some space, but um just yeah i got those at uh home depot actually these buckets barrel and so in here is watermelon and um cantaloupe in this small bed we've got um broccoli and some marigolds and um and though that is potato that's starting bush beans both of those are bush beans um this one here is a they call it a, a, a lemon plant um it's really pretty my friend sarah gave that to me and she gave me this lavender thank you sarah um inside of this bed we've got some more marigolds as you can see i think the gopher or the rabbit must have come chomped on the uh collard greens but they're they're growing we're giving them love and they're growing back also chomped on my little curly kale but it's it's coming back and the um the bok choy is out here showing off isn't it 
<laughs> bok choy is in these streets. Um, this is um, some butternut squash and some yellow squash in this bed. Um, this one is the herb bed. We've got some chamomile, some sage. That's me growing basil from seed. It's, it's starting, that, those were great basil transplants. And that's some cilantro and some calendula. And then in this bed right here, I've got some bib lettuce that's starting to come up. Of course, my marigolds. Um, and then some mixed lettuce. Yeah, mixed lettuce. And then some spinach. The spinach has been really growing. Like, whoo. And more marigolds and cucumbers. And so I think that's everything I'm growing right now. I planted a blueberry tree like over here but i don't know it's not doing too well it's okay this is like technically this is like my alley but i use the weeds as like a natural fence you know instead of putting like some a grotesque looking fence but um let me see if you can see like the entire garden so this is almost pretty much what it looks like almost the full garden let me see. Well, it's hard to get everything, but that's like the full garden there, as you can see. Uh, this is from the back, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. I'm growing a lot of different things this year. I've added some, like I said, the barrels and the um, pots and um, a few different crops. And yeah, so just uh, looking forward to being able to share some of this. Oh, you know what? And I didn't even come over here and show y'all this right here. Let me go in a little bit. Can y'all see? I added raspberry, that raspberry, but that's not going to be like raspberries until like, I think she told me like um, maybe next year. But see, there's a few raspberries. See, I got them all along the fence like that but let me pull out a little bit and you can see them all along the fence there the raspberry and you can see this pulled out out raspberry it's along the fence so that's the that's the garden tour um and this is a, the garden from the front again so yeah 